Yellow, Dominic here with Chill Tech. This video was supposed to be popping the trays, but I messed up. I got a little excited ahead of myself. I already popped the trays and then I damn near killed all the plants. I didn't water them enough. We put a fan on circulating the air. We got our dehumidifier in the room finally and we set all that up not thinking and dried out our cocoa core. You can see how they're all, some of these are laying flat now. This whole tray this morning was completely flat. Everything was dried out. So I just soaked them all right now, trying to bring these things back. As you can see, this is gonna be very, very sparse trays. What you see now is the organic broccoli. And so I just got a little bit ahead of myself, popped the trays off and just something I probably shouldn't have done. But no matter, I corrected it. Second rack going right now. I won't make the same mistake. So here's all new broccoli again. And don't worry, I got two levels of broccoli going. We got more radish going, red vein sorrel going as well, and plus uh, two more trays of mustard. Next video, we'll pop these trays and then we'll do it the right way. I popped the trays a little early. We turned these lights on. This is all being done and controlled with the AC Infinity controller. So we're using this AC control. What that does is shuts off the AC power to all the lights right now as a fail safe, even though we do have separate dimming control on and off capability for each shelf. Everything can be daisy chainable, RJ12, RJ11 splitters. With the 60 watt meanwhile drivers, they pull very low amperage. So just on a, very, on a basic home circuit, you're able to connect multiple racks together. I'm using the Bluetooth app right now, controlling everything. So I set up as two different zones. So these two are together, those two are together. So that way I can individually control them as I was a little early popping these ones. And so I try to cover up my mistake. I put the trays back on here so you guys wouldn't see. Ugh. But the best one so far is the mustard. Obviously we planted on the last video. I told you guys it was a little bit on the sparse side. Didn't want to plant too many seeds. I kind of wanted to see the coverage that we would get with these, especially as my first time growing these microgreens. I kind of want to test things out and try things out. And I really want to hit home that we're not just going to showcase the good things that we're doing. We're going to showcase the bad things. So just like my mistake in the last few days, I dried out the trays completely and I pretty much almost killed the plants all the way. We want to show you our faults. So if there's any tips and tricks you guys would like to leave below as far as things you guys are noticing that I'm doing wrong or just to help us improve our yields a little bit, let us know. But moving forward, I want to talk a little little bit more about our racks and what we have going on as far as our setup goes. We're running off our Veg Spectrum X1s, all being hung. All these racks are six shelf units, easily mobile for our grow room now. So everything's on casters and wheels so we can move things around as we go. We're color coding. So everything will have a color code on a seed packs for now, but later they will they'll all be barcoded QR codes with data. The time we sowed, you know, the watering times and everything for each and every tray. This rack here that you see behind me actually doesn't have anything just yet. We were actually just showcasing the cocoa core to see how much it actually fills up per tray. All these trays are from Bootstrap Farmer. They're all made in the USA and so far they seem to be a very high quality tray. So in the next few weeks we'll have three racks of microgreens going all ready to start and then my personal rack of starts going as well. And then moving forward we'll just keep expanding as we go. You can look forward to NFT channels, hydroponic setups, all on these racks and individual tables and everything moving forward. So keep that in mind in the future videos. This is going to be a complete grow series moving forward and us developing out our whole grow room in the building. You've got forever in your eyes And I've got so much on my mind I didn't want to waste Didn't want to waste your time Please don't throw me away. Thank you guys for watching my first mistake in the microgreen series. Um, hopefully you guys will see plenty more of my mistakes in the future videos to come. <laughs>